Sauerkraut in the 18th century could mean life or death to a sailor or a soldier. Thanks for joining us today on 18th Century Cooking with James Townsend and Son. So sauerkraut's usually not my, say, favorite thing. It's a little too, what can I say? It's a little too sour. But I like it when it's paired with other things, when it's maybe an ingredient in another dish. And, well, some people probably wouldn't argue with me that sauerkraut is an acquired taste. When the 18th century Scottish physician James Lind performed clinical trials looking for the prevention and the cure of uh, scurvy, he, he found that acidic foods like citrus and sauerkraut were excellent remedies. Scurvy is a horrible and painful disease that left untreated meant certain death. It's estimated that during the age of sail, more than two million sailors died from that disease. That's more than, the, than died from injuries, other diseases, and war casualties combined. In addition, General George Washington, in a requisition to Congress in 1777, requested large amounts of sauerkraut. So when Lind published his findings in 1753, it had revolutionary effects on the lives of sailors and soldiers as well.